Hey guys, today we are going to the Lucky Dog Barrel Race in Memphis. We're running two horses and two days. So we are at the barn now. I'm sure they are excited and ready to go. They've already eaten breakfast. So all I have to do is make another alfalfa bag for the ride to Memphis. I made one last night because I steamed a bunch of alfalfa last night just for these hay bags so we're gonna get the hay bags made and get all the horses loaded up we're also taking some of chester's food just bagged dakota has a bag of feed already in the trailer our medicine bag just kind of like an emergency thing just in case we need anything i'll get my ice vibes the lemire blankets and their supplements that should be all we have to grab over these <laughs> Me. You want me to give him a handful? Uh, sure. I'll, I'll watch you come out. And then... All the hay in their bags in the trailer could be nice and steamed. Provide a lot of good moisture for them and be a little easier to eat. Which kind of all came out together. It did. <laughs> you may have to pull. I'm determined. Some off the side. <laughs> well, that's a good thing about that kind of hay net is you can, no. it helps you, but I still think it's too wide. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> <point. laughs> there we go. She getting it now, y'all. <laughs> I do really like these hay nets. Yeah, I do too. I think they make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. That is definitely enough. Yeah, for sure. We'll hang these up when we have the trailer hooked up, but now we are going to give them some ulcer guard for the ride and the runs later just to help calm their stomach and prevent ulcers. I forgot about the flat mask. His hair doesn't come out of this one. Yeah. I don't want a bunch of shavings in it under there. You've grown so much hair. Lord, he bit it. <laughs> <laughs> he's starving. Even though he's already eating breakfast. He's always hungry. <laughs> and if he's not, you got a problem. <laughs> there you go. What? Sweet Coda Co. <laughs> so nice. Look at you. He's so much more cooperative than the world's best barrel horse. <laughs> he said, let Chester think what he wants to think. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I like it. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Y'all gonna be so happy about this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Giving it on the wrong side, he said. <laughs> they preferred sides. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Hey. Okay, good boy. <laughs> he said, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All of his weight is on my head right now. That's funny. Um, <laughs> are you done? <laughs> okay.
such a good bite. Best try my loader. That's good. We've made it to Memphis and now we are just searching for our stalls. So the horses are still in the horse trailer right now while we search around and then we'll probably go ahead and bed the stalls before we get them out. Just cause it all works out a little bit easier that way. Um, here are the stalls. Uh oh. And I don't think they can really see each other. So it's gonna be a little bit of a problem. I think I'm gonna put Dakota in this one. So I'm gonna spread the shavings out just a little bit. He'll spread them around himself too. So don't have to do too much here. But I wanna make sure, you know, the concrete is mostly gonna be covered. We might even buy some more. Yeah, you want it in here. Dakota stall is now bedded. I gave him this one because the other one has panels. And Dakota can get a little antsy sometimes, so if he rears, I don't want him to have a bunch of opportunities to get his feet through the panels. So he's gonna go in here, and now we are bedding Chester stall, which is this one. We got some leaps. <laughs> I'm very covered in shaving stuff. <laughs> now we can go grab the ponies and start bringing them into their stalls, let them get settled in, get them water and everything. What did you do? He got his hay bag around his ear. Ear. He's around his ear. Oh, yeah. no. He ate all the alfalfa though. to make two trips to get off this car. Thirsty. Buster's running first, so I have the tag in front of his stall, but I don't have to travel very far, so it's just gonna stay here. Uh, I've gotta go back and get another blanket, all of my bits, boots, and my grooming bag, so quite a bit. We're getting them a little bit of water right now for them to drink if they want to. Not thirsty. We'll give him a second. All of the boots for tonight are in a box because they're all brand new. Can I just leave the part over here? I would. Yeah. I don't want to wheel it all the way to the arbor. No, just push it around like behind. I have shavings all in my shoes.
ready to get Chester tacked up. We're number 14 and it starts in really not that long. So I am going to use my little heart brush and get all of those shavings brushed off of him because he loves to get covered in shavings. He loves, he loves it. He takes naps all the time. So we have to fix that before we can tack up. Mm, I see. Yesterday it was insane, so I did not have a chance to put their tails up in bags. So if they look a little ratchet, that's why. I'm gonna tack up on the right. Don't hate me. Bella Hadid might be popping up at our barrel for <laughs> Now we are going to take Chester to warm up before his run. I get on him and walk over there because it's quite muddy. I ask him for a nice sitting slow try to start off our warm up. My warm up is to ensure that my horses are ready to run. I don't try to pick fights or anything during my warm up because I try to keep that at home. So here I'm just getting his muscles warm so he doesn't pull anything and he's ready to go make a really fast run. You can definitely tell that he wants to go a little bit faster than I'm asking, so I try to be really calm and ask him to slow down. I don't want him losing his mind during the warm-up, and then I ask him for a lope, and I'm trying to keep this slow and collected. He's not super happy about that, but I also don't want to run anybody over in here, and I don't want him to tire himself out during his warm-up, so I don't lope for just forever, but I do get him to a nice collected slow lope where he's listening to me, and I do this both ways. So I did trot both ways, and of course, I'm going to lope both ways as well, really getting him ready and warm. Because a girl came up to me and she went, are you the girl that owns Chester? That's <laughs> like, funny. I am. The king himself. He, he a little working that out. Was, that was tough. <laughs> he needs a little more work out. He, it was everything I could to hold him down in the alleyway. I was like, I'm not running from back here when I've not run you. And I was really conscious about trying not to put him in the same pot, spot I put Dakota in. Right. The to put him there. Before you run again, it was a good first run back. Yeah. Chester had a great run. We ran a 14.7. I do think I need to do some slow work on him. That is his third time seeing the barrels in like two and a half months. 
I think so he I was happy with that he's a tad bit out of shape not too bad I have been riding him since we've been home uh, so the arena has been super muddy so I only got to get one good workout on him so we are going to be working on getting in really good shape for our semifinals that we are running in in January for the American but here was just to get a run on him get him back on the barrels and slowly start building back up because I've been so focused on Dakota. So we are getting Chester some water and then I'm gonna have a little outfit change and then we will run Dakota. But it's a little out of shape. I don't want him to like gulp down a ton of water at once. So we are pulling away the bucket for now but he got a really big drink. Now I'm gonna let him loose in his stall and he's probably gonna roll back in the shavings but it's okay because he's not running tomorrow. He can get filthy, I guess, if he wants. We're gonna fill up your little pan. Okay, yeah. <laughs> He's so thirsty. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> He said, I hate this, girl. I hate this, Miss Girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just slung it out. I got some. I'm a pro at that, obviously. <laughs> Change his shirts because he spit all over the back of it. Look at my hair. And in your hair. Yeah. Okay, I've changed shirts to be all purple on Dakota because he's going to be running in the new purple solids from Hot Head Stalls today. Chester got the blue and he looked really good and he did really good. So we are going to take some alfalfa to Chester. I'm just gonna carry it in this hay bag and then bring the cart to get the big bag of alfalfa. So I'm gonna put some alfalfa in this hay bag, give it to Chester, and then give Dakota some treats and some things so he has something on his stomach before we warm up. I'm all about ulcer prevention here. So that is what we do. So I'll meet you probably back at the horses. I'm just gonna get there's so many dogs barking. I'm gonna get covered in alfalfa. <laughs> I'm back to get it. Give it to you. Hey, look. He's so good. They still have some good grass over here. You might have to get. They get to look a little rattier today than normal. But I'll make him really pretty for the qualifier tomorrow night. He's a little dusty. But he's really not that dirty.
right guys it's time to go warm up dakota i put on my black troxel helmet because i thought it would match this look a little bit better than the blue so once i get to the warm up i do walk for a little bit but now i'm going to do a posted trot on him and i trot some really big laps getting him good and stretched out he is much easier to warm up then at Chester, I make a cut in the middle to change directions. That way I don't have to stop trotting and we trot some more big laps that way. Once I'm done trotting, I'm going to ask him to lope and we'll lope some circles here at the end of the arena. Same with Chester, I'm going to do everything both directions, getting both sides warmed up for the run. And let me tell you, this is probably the most hyped Dakota has been for a warm-up with me so far, so he must have run here before. He wanted to lope really, really fast, so I had to kind of pull him back and ask him to slow it down just a little bit. I don't want to make him tired during the warm-up, but Dakota was really, really pumped and ready to run, which I always love, but I do want to make sure I keep them collected and not go insane during their warm-up. I don't have a video of either of them, but once I'm done warming up, I will hop off and pick their feet before tightening my saddle and getting back on just to make sure there's nothing in there and to make sure my saddle does not slide during our run. I'm terrified of that. So once I'm done picking their feet and tightening their saddle, I'll hop on and walk my last little laps before we're called to run. Now it's time to run Dakota. He was very pumped. Here I take him in way too close to that first barrel and he does not have any room to fix it so that was all my bad and the fact that we were able to make two nice barrels after that is kind of crazy to me he got mad at me for being a little too much in his mouth i'm still learning on him and the fact that that was still 14 is insane i thought we were going to break the pattern after I walk him a little bit and get him back to stall, I get the boots off first because they tend to trap the most heat on their legs. And once I get all four boots off, I will pull that saddle off of him. Dakota's run was not bad at all. I will not say that. I will say that I did not put him in the right spot going into the first barrel. So that was my bad that we came out wide like that and I need to be a little bit lighter with my hands which has been, you know, a struggle since I bought him <laughs> for me. Uh, this is a victory, one, because it's the first time I've run them both in one day and not hit a barrel. And two, I wore purple and did not hit a barrel and that is monumental for me. I was scared to wear it but I thought it was cute and we did and we did not hit a barrel. So two curses broken, I'll say. Uh, now I'm gonna kind of get them their alfalfa and start bringing the stuff over for their dinner and then haul my tack all the way back out here because I don't like to just leave my tack out at night. So we're gonna take our trusty cart and go over there. Uh, I would say today's a good day. I've had way, way, way worse days. So I was happy with today and I know exactly what I'm gonna do tomorrow. We are only running Dakota tomorrow because I am doing the American qualifier and switching between them is still just a little hard for me. Uh, this is all the saga of getting with the new horse. So I have all day tomorrow to think about everything I did wrong and what I can do better. <laughs> Let's go get them some more alfalfa because Chester's hungry. Chester's always hungry, but he's especially hangry right now because he ate all the alfalfa we gave him. So we're going to go give Chester some more alfalfa and then Hold all my tack back over here <laughs> for the night. It is dinner time. So they're both eating their dinner and I'm gonna fill up Dakota's alfalfa bag and throw Chester some alfalfa for them to snack on. And then we might go in and see our pictures. Hopefully the matchy matchy all turned out very cute. So let's get Dakota's hay bag. <laughs> that horse said, hey. <laughs> what about me? 
I don't want to get in trouble here. Sore from riding both rocket donkeys today. <laughs> you were especially a rocket donkey today. <laughs> There you go. Got a little bit in your braid. There you go. You got it. I am going to go check the horses for the night. Make sure they are still doing good. And I'm going to give them a little bit more alfalfa to snack on throughout the night. And I will see y'all in... <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dakota. It is Saturday morning and Chester is very, very hungry, obviously. So we are going to get them their food and Chester definitely needs some more water. And Dakota has pooped in his feet pan, so good morning. While Dakota ate breakfast, I did ice vibe his hawks to help him recover from yesterday. I am going to get Dakota's tail in a barrel bling tail bag, so hopefully it'll look pretty for the qualifier tonight. I've not been able to wash it, so no promises on how clean it is, but I might be able to get it a little curly. Maybe. I just want to get all the hay and stuff out of it that he's he's got in it because it's kind of gross. are gonna get on Chester and just exercise him a little bit we have not had access to an arena really without hauling lately so we are just gonna ride him around get him some exercise today and I don't know if I'll get a lot of videos of the ride because Dakota is kind of a big baby when Chester goes away so he might have to be babysat <laughs> but I am gonna tack him up real quick and hopefully be able to take you with me just a little bit he says, like, he still has a sweat mark. Damn. Sorry. I saw some, a lot of people rinse their horses yesterday. I thought it was kind of borderline. We are going to clean Chester's stall. Even though we leave tonight, <laughs> his stall is disgusting. Sure, <laughs> you just peed and drank and peed and drank. <laughs> Do a little foot soak while we're at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tie Dakota just to get a little bit of yeah, you can video, see but color. I don't know. up from the right because it looks better for the video. Mm -hmm. They don't care. <laughs> He's in a good mood. It's always nasty and muddy in December here. So they do have a giant outdoor arena but it is probably straight mud so we're not going out there. This saddle is so much better when my back hurts. <laughs> oh so much I know. Yeah. <laughs> that upset him. <laughs> I didn't mean to let it hit you just a little bit. Not like it hit you very hard or anything. <laughs> Getting prepared for you. I'll get on up underneath so you said I'm <laughs> doing things to you. A lot of people have asked about you, mm -hmm. my best year. I'm just that girl that owns the world's best barrel horse. Yep, that's you. Yeah. This one. Yeah, y'all know each other. Hi, he's saying. He said hi. Since I am actually exercising Chester, not just warming him up to go run, we are going to do quite a bit more than I would for a normal warm up. I want to get his heart rate up, I want to get his blood pumping, and I want to get him back in really good shape. So I do that same slow trot, but I did it for quite a bit longer, and then here I am loping. I don't have just a ton of videos, but I did lope him for a long time, really trying to get his wind up and get him listening. Since, again, I'm not warming up, I did pick a little bit more of a fight than I would asking him to really put his head down and listen to me really getting him back in the groove of riding since he's just kind of been hauling around and I've been riding him just a little more haphazard
haphazardly than I have in the past. So here I am again, I go both ways. I'm trotting a little bit, asking him to slow things down. I did some figure eights and some other little things like that, getting his mind working and his body moving. Chester's ride went good in my opinion and I got to spray him off since it's warmer today thankfully so he's just gonna get some alfalfa and get to chill basically for the rest of the day. What are you doing? They're just shavings. We're gonna go get you some alfalfa. I filled Chester up an alfalfa bag. Chester's salt is so disgusting, so let's get it clean. Yummy wet alfalfa. In Waco, when we stayed there for three nights, two or three nights, I had to take six of these out of his stove in one day. We bought him some more shavings. We are leaving tonight, so I'm not gonna make it super perfect, but I don't want him standing in this wet all day. Since we're gonna run at like 10 p.m. tonight from Dakota. But you get to be in your own bed when you get home. Kite has been sleeping in his bed, so I don't know how he feels about it. Yeah, it might have be a little dirty. I have to throw a bag of shavings on top just for tonight and then clean it out tomorrow. Will one bag get you through today? We'll try one bag, just like These up under him. Are really thin. In the middle. Yeah, I like those. Shavings time. It's not perfect, but it is perfect for today. Hey guys, it's 9.30 at night and time to warm Dakota for that American qualifier. I was just a little nervous because I've not been riding Dakota that long at all and I really want to take him with Chester so they can both run in the American semis. Now we are going to get him warmed up. So I'm trotting both ways, really just doing what I did the day before on him. This day I remembered a flare strip and it might be just a little low. Okay, he moved while I was pulling it on. I'm very sorry and I did not have the heart to rip 
rip it off and do it again so his player strip is just a little low you can see i'm doing that nice long trot both directions and once i'm done with that we are going to lope both directions as well the warm-up pin was not too insane because there are only 30 people running the american so it was kind of easy to maneuver him around and get around people because it was not as crowded as it was the day before and in between sets of what i'm doing so in between the trotting and the loping i did walk him for just a little bit before asking him for that nice pretty lope off Miller right now 14-3 that started that party off in this set and then we changed the bubble to a 14-7-19 and that's Stephanie Fryer sitting on the bubble number tractor drivers after this run the yellow horse look at here The numbers 14, 5, and 21. We're going to change the bubble again. 14, 5, and 21. That is third right now, and we'll move our bubble to a 14. Guys, with this run, Dakota did it, and he qualified, so both horses get to go to the semifinals next month, and I'm so excited. That, that was hurt. like... That hurt really <clears throat> like, we're gonna walk up and get this angle. <laughs> well, you got the angle. Yeah, he like, just, uh, we did not go as far as I had hoped. Well, but I was like, oh, well, he threw me way back, well, so I thought I was recovered <laughs> by the first barrel. There's a girl. <laughs> they call her name, the horse took off into the... Uh, that little section to the right it like took off running in there uh, the holding pan yeah that's scary it's very right. scary Ooh. i think he just wore him silly stuff out and that's why he did because he was not running as hard as normal out that was the difference because he wore himself out being stupid before yeah i'm watching him walk he looks okay he's not It's funny, this video is better than the video of you warming up today. That contrast is really hard on this camera. On red. Like when it's, no, when it's in the arena and then it's like really bright outside of the arena. Yeah, are you talking about whenever I rode Chester earlier? Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Then tell me now. Oh, that's true. I know. If I turn it loose, he's coming. Goodbye, <laughs> Chester. Guess you're going home. Faster than any of us. It's going to feel like a short drive compared to what we normally do. 